Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As a portrait photographer editing portraits for a while now, removing distracting skin blemishes and imperfections is one of the first process I do in my workflow before applying skin smoothing or dodge and burn. And when I say skin blemishes and imperfections, they can be pimples, scars, freckles, birthmarks, dark spots, or sometimes even moles. But it still depends upon the client's request on how heavy we apply skin retouching. Anyhow, the Retouch For Me Heal plugin has a new version, which is version 1.2. The new AI model in live mode has the ability to retain freckles and moles along with a slider that allows you to choose to keep or remove them. So in this video, we will go ahead and see how the plugin works. Let's get started. Right off the bat, you can see that the interface has been improved. Let's go ahead and import our images. And let's start with this image right here. As I have mentioned in the past, I just keep the subject detection in auto and enable live model to get the most precise and high quality result as the AI is very much reliable and accurate. By default, the sensitivity is set to 100 and I always keep it that way even on the other Retouch For Me plugins. The mole slider, which is new to this version, is set to 0. Let's have a look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after, Okay, so the Heal plugin did an amazing job. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. If you look closely, the mole on her forehead was removed as the software somehow detected it as a blemish and not as a mole. But if we move this mole slider right here, it will retain that mole. Before, after, before, after. So this mole slider is newly added to this version. When you move this slider, you will get a preview of which areas of the face have detected the skin imperfections. The green color you see are the areas that will have healing function applied. And as you can see, it has retained the mole. Let's move on to the next image. And if you look at the mole slider right here, it kept the same settings from our previous edit. In my opinion, I don't like this as it can apply the wrong effect on the next image. It would be nice if on every photo, it will reset to the default settings, but I guess this is how it should really work because of how the batch processing is applied to all of the images. Either way, this is just a minor personal pet peeve of mine. Let's have a look. Before. After. Before. After. Okay, so the Heal plugin did a great job. Let's zoom in. Before. After, before, after. This looks excellent in my opinion. Now what if we set the mole slider to zero? Let's see how it will look. Before, after, before, after. Okay, so it made the face cleaner but it's not her natural look. How about if we set it at 50? Before, after, before, after, there is no noticeable change. How about at 75? Before, after, before, after. Okay, now it's beginning to look more natural. I'm happy with this so let's keep it like this and move on to the next example. So again, the mole slider is set to 75 because we set it to 75 on the last image. Let's set it at 0. Before, after, before, after. So it removed a lot of the freckles, which, depending on who you ask, can either be good or bad. Let's set the mole slider all the way to 100. Before, after, before, after. Now in this case, it did not apply that much healing. How about at 50? Before, after, before, after. Okay, this look much better so let's leave it at that. Let's move on to the next image. This time, let's try it with a male subject. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Okay, I don't have any complaints so let's move on. So the mole slider is still set at 50. Before, after, before, after. This looks great, but I want to see how it looks at 100. Before. After. 
before, after, this looks great too. How about it's zero? Honestly, it's not that bad either. Okay, this video is getting boring. And I know you already got the gist of what the new healing plugin can do. So I will do a rapid fire on the rest of these images and get back to you shortly. In the meantime, enjoy the music. Okay, so what have we learned from this video? Basically, skin retouching is subjective. Photo editing is subjective. Every photographer and retoucher has his or her own style. And you also have to consider the client's requirements. So no one can really say that your editing is right or wrong, good or bad. At the end of the day, if you know how to use these tools properly, and if you or your client is happy with the result, that is all that matters. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.